Hey guys, Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is Stamping for Scrapbookers Day and I am going to be scrapbooking these two uh, selfies of Lana and I at Disneyland and I'm going to be using these uh, two stamp sets. Um, our theme is pop culture and I figure Disney is definitely pop culture. So this is a One Little Bird in Studio Calico uh, stamp set and this one is a Kelly Perky stamp set. So I have these. I also have my How to Kill a Kit with Style. So let's see what I can do. Now, like every good stamping layout, I'm going to start out with a stencil. So I have the Pika Dot grid stencil from the Scrapping Reflection shop. And I decided to grab all of my mixed media products that I had pulled for the Kill a Kit with Style in Rainbow. So I have this red glitter glaze. I am using my glitter glaze uh, spatula, the little palette knife that I have. I use this only for glitter and it does have glitter buildup on it even when I wipe it off. Still has glitter buildup but that's the way to do it. And then I'm going to grab some Nouveau embellishment mousse in orange and I'm going to just apply that as well with uh, a different palette knife and I don't care that I am kind of mixing the colors and going over top of each other. I'm not waiting for it to dry in between, but then I realized there was glitter in that embellishment mousse. So after I wiped it off, I pulled that right back out because I don't want to contaminate the entire jar. I just don't care in the moment that there's going to be mixture. So I grabbed the Velveteen Glaze from Brutus Monroe, and this is a glaze that will dry matte. Um, so it does not have a shiny feel. It's like hard flock. And if you have velveteen glaze, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is like a hard flock. So this time I went and grabbed my little spray box that I have, grabbed my surface spray and spritzed over. Then I'm just going to grab a paper towel and kind of dab that off. Now I could have pulled a stencil print with it, um, but I really just didn't even think about it. Now this is something um, I haven't seen a lot of people do. Uh, I don't know if I've seen anyone do it, but I'm taking my Nouveau drops and treating them like a mixed media medium. And I just put it on my spatula and rubbed it down on the page. Now I also have this heavy body acrylic paint and I go ahead and wrap up my rainbow with some purple. Now I pull that out. That bad boy gets a little second to dry and I go clean off my stencil. Um, like I said, I am a little bit lazy with cleaning off my stencils when it comes to inks, but when there's glitter glaze and stuff like that on a stencil, you got to go take care of it or it dries on there and it's a pain to get it off. So I matted my two photos uh, with just some paper that I had in my kit. And now I'm going to add in this khaki polka dot uh, kind of washi tape. It's not really a washi tape. It's more like a paper tape, but I figured I had all the polka dots going on already. So why not add some more? Now I did that one stamp up in the corner uh, with black ink just because I thought it looked cute with the ledger paper that I have going on. Now I am flipping through uh, this sticker book and this is a planner sticker book from Paper House Productions and these are thinner stickers. So if you don't want your stickers to kind of, to see where your layers are, you're gonna want to mat it or put it on some cardstock and cut it out. Now I go ahead and find this little orange label sticker as well and I layer that up over the polka dot khaki. And I promise you guys, I am going to stamp more than what I stamped up in that little corner. Now I pull out this sticker that says Weekend Adventure and I go ahead and put it up there in the corner because now I've, I've kind of got my three uh, main areas of embellishment. I have it over here uh, next to the photo. I also have this little cluster on the left and then where I stamped up in the upper right corner. Now I open up this glitter duct tape uh, it's been in my kit all month and surprise, today is the first day I'm actually using it and I attempted to tear it, but it does not tear that easily. So I went ahead and cut it and I'm just going to layer uh, the gold sparkly tape uh, on up there. 
and did I cover up all of that dot? I can't tell. I don't think I covered it all up. So I go into my kit and I find some puffy stickers and I start laying them down. And I'm probably doing this a little bit backwards, but most of the time I am a top-down scrapbooker and that means I lift things up and put things underneath. Now I am using that kind of popsicle uh, puffy sticker up there as a placeholder because I know I have a Mickey head ice cream uh, stamp that I want to uh, put up there in the corner. So I put that there and it kind of just reminds me that, you know, that's got to happen. So I'm going through the stickers. These are not Vicki Booten stickers. These are Rosie's Studio stickers. And I'm just kind of putting the coordinating colors to the coordinating mixed media. So anything that's red is going on the red area, anything that's orange, and so forth. Now I pull out those stickers. I don't make you watch me lift up all the stickers I just put down and then put more stickers underneath of them to build them up. Not going to make you do that. Now I thought I was going to do my little Misty. However, I pulled out the 12 by 12 Misty and just put my page in it. I figured it would be easier to go ahead and uh, stamp on the page. Now I am truly loving my Close to My Heart inks right now. They are just doing all the things for me and I want it to have rainbow stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up the stamp that is on the door and then just keep pushing it down until I get a good nice dark image. So I'm just going to go through each of these two stamp sets and I'm going to use some of the icons and I'll use some of the words as well. Now let me give you a tip that I did not follow. I, usually I do this but for some reason I didn't think it was going to be a problem uh, with this layout and it turned out to be a problem. So if you are inking up your stamp that is on the door of your stamp platform and you get ink on the stamp platform door, you need to wipe that stuff off because I did not wipe it off and I got green uh, ink all over my face in the photo. Now, it hasn't ruined the layout for me. I'm leaving it like that. I'm just like, whatever it is what it is. But in the moment, I was a little ticked off that that happened. So make sure that you do that. Now, you also saw me rub the stamps on my arm. So these stamps are new. I have not used them yet. And you can either rub them on your arm uh, just to get uh, the oils onto the stamp or you could stamp it with an embossing ink pad. Uh, you could use a white eraser and erase over the stamp. Basically, you're just priming that stamp so it takes ink a little bit better than if you would have just put ink on it without priming it. So there is that. <laughs> now I am finding just what I think are the perfect stamps, nestling them around the embellishment. And I just keep going back to my close to my heart inks and finding coordinating colors to go with the rainbow. So this one, I decided not to stamp directly on the page. And this is where I realized I have green all over my face. And some of it comes off, but there is green still there. Now that circular stamp, uh, and then this is where I go wipe off the green. Um, the circular stamp, uh, I was thinking about moving it down to the green area, but ultimately I kept it uh, where it was, uh, over here where the orange is. And I kind of put it to the side because I'm not convinced that I'm going to put it over there yet. Um, but I do put another word uh, stamp down. I think it says the happy, happiest place on earth. And it is in the orange area, so I am using a orange colored uh, ink. Now see, I keep messing around and trying to figure out where this little circular stamp is gonna go. I'm trying out other words, I'm trying out other icons. And basically, I'm like, what are you doing? You need to get your act together and do something with the circle stamp. Now I am going to do something with the circle stamp, I promise, uh, but here is that Mickey head ice cream that I was talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with some red ink. I know Mickey Head ice creams aren't really red, you guys, but we're going with the rainbow theme, so that's where it is. 
I decide to layer up that popsicle sticker over top of the Mickey head ice cream, um, which is funny because I don't think we had Mickey head ice creams while we were at Disneyland. It's very different Disneyland and Disney World, you guys. Disneyland, every two feet, there's a churro cart. Disney World, every two feet, there's a Mickey head ice cream cart. So it's just a, it's a very different experience uh, in the different parks. And then the food experience is totally different as well. So this is me uh, stamping that stamp smack dab in the middle of the paper. Like, why did I do that? That makes no sense. Um, so I had to cut it down and trim it down so that I could use my circle punch. Now this is a, an, um, a very old creative memory circle punch. I don't think that they sell them anymore, um, which is a shame because these punches are fantastic. So I go ahead and add a little bit of adhesive to the back of that uh, circle that I just punched out. And then I tuck it under the photo ever so slightly. Um, so it definitely fits into that orange area. I am going to fill in um, up here in the upper right hand corner where I stamped with that black stamp. And then I'm thinking about some doodly lines, but ultimately I decide not to go for them. And then that is going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you check out uh, Sarah's, Caitlin's, and Christina's videos down below. I'll have their channels linked. And we will see you again real soon for another video.